Two astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, have been aboard the International Space Station since June 2024. They were supposed to return after a short mission, but the failure of the Starliner thrusters has prevented their return. NASA is now planning to rescue them using the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. But let's understand what happened, how they are surviving in space, the risks of radiation, and how the rescue will be carried out. We will also learn about the fatal accidents that led to the death of 20 astronauts and the Russian man who spent more than a thousand days in space. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do, leave a like, and help us keep producing new content. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. NASA has had some bad luck when it comes to its partnership with Boeing. The Boeing CST-100 Starliner capsule, which had been in development for years, has faced one issue after another from testing to launch. To make matters worse, even after docking with the International Space Station, ISS, the problems continued. On June 6, 2024, five of the 28 thrusters failed, complicating the docking with the ISS. Additionally, there were helium leaks. Yes, the Starliner went up with a leak, something both Boeing and NASA deemed acceptable. However, during ascent, two new leaks were detected, and after docking, two more. Now the capsule is leaking helium from five different points. But that's not all. NASA and Boeing engineers also identified that an isolation valve in the reaction control system didn't close properly, compromising the stability of the capsule. With so many issues, NASA decided to leave the crew on the space station and bring the empty Starliner back to Earth, which happened on September 7, 2024. The empty capsule landed in the U.S. state of New Mexico after an autonomous journey. The Starliner manned mission launched on June 5 was intended to take NASA astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS. The mission's goal was also to ensure safe and sustained access to space, focusing on future trips to the station. This mission was a milestone in space exploration and an attempt by Boeing to compete with SpaceX. NASA contracted both Boeing and SpaceX to transport its astronauts to the ISS, as the space agency is interested in maintaining capsules from both companies. For Boeing, it was a frustration to see its capsule have so many problems, and it will get even uglier with SpaceX, its competitor, having to rescue astronauts in space due to lack of security in its capsule. Have you left your like yet? Don't forget to share our channel with your friends. But what about the two astronauts who have been in space since June 5, 2024? How are they surviving? NASA has reported that Butch and Suni are in good spirits and in frequent contact with their families. Hard to believe, right? After all, there is nothing pleasant about knowing that they were unable to return to Earth as scheduled due to insecurity in Boeing's Starline capsule. Will these two fly again on a Boeing aircraft? I don't think so. That good mood will have to last, as the crew's return is scheduled for February 2025, with SpaceX supporting a rescue mission. Elon Musk's company launched the Falcon 9 rocket on September 28th from Cape Canaveral, carrying the Crew Dragon capsule with two empty seats to pick up pilots Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore. The Crew Dragon will remain docked at the ISS until the end of February 2025, when their return to Earth is planned. According to NASA, it's not possible to bring them back sooner without interrupting other scheduled missions. When they finally return to Earth, Williams and Wilmore will have spent over eight months in space. A mission that was scheduled to last eight days and will extend to eight months raises concerns. Do they have the resources to stay in space for so long? But how are they surviving in space? The astronauts are eating dehydrated or freeze-dried food to reduce weight, volume, and increase shelf life. Before eating, they add hot water to rehydrate the food. On the International Space Station, ISS, the menu includes more than 100 items, from fruits, vegetables, pre-prepared meals to desserts. 
They eat three meals a day and can eat snacks at any time to reach at least 2,000 to 500 calories per day. The International Space Station has a garden that produces fresh food. However, it's not all rosy. They don't have access to showers and need to drink recycled urine. The astronauts change their clothes only once a week. Extended lack of physical activity can make them ill, as the absence of gravity means their muscles don't work with intensity and their hearts are also affected. They lose bone density, increasing the risk of kidney stones, diabetes, and eye problems. Bodily fluids are collected by a suction toilet, preventing urine and feces from floating in space. On the space station, there is no need to relieve yourself in spacecraft. Astronauts are also exposed to high let radiation from galactic and solar cosmic rays. While the ships and suits provide some protection, prolonged exposure to this radiation can cause skin rashes and even cancer in the long run. American astronaut Scott Kelly, who returned from space after spending almost a year on the ISS, says he feels so much pain in his muscles and joints that he can barely tell where it hurts. Despite the planned eight months in space, around 240 days, the two astronauts are far from breaking the world record for the longest time spent in space. Russian astronaut Oleg Kononenko returned to Earth on September the 23rd, 2024, after reaching the incredible mark of 1,100 days in space. Among NASA astronauts, the record is held by Frank Rubio, who spent 371 days in space before returning in September 2023. Can you imagine spending a thousand days in space? Would you have the courage? Let us know what you think in the comments. Since Yuri Gagarin's first space flight in 1961, 566 people have been to space. However, 20 people have died on space missions since the beginning of human space exploration, a considered low mortality rate of 3.5%. 14 astronauts died in the NASA Challenger space shuttle tragedies, which occurred in 1986 and 2003. Three cosmonauts died on the Russian Soyuz 11 mission in 1963, 1971. All three died of asphyxiation upon re-entry to Earth. The fault was a ventilation valve that caused the loss of oxygen in the capsule. Another three astronauts died in the Apollo 1 launch pad fire in 1967. The image of their destroyed suits is impressive. While sending humans to space is a very difficult and dangerous task, it is surprising that so few people have died so far. However, with the increasing frequency of space travel, the chances of someone dying on the journey also increase. All right, folks, now we wait for the astronauts' return in February 2025 and hope that the rescue mission with the help of SpaceX will be successful. Once again, thank you for being part of the Brugger Films channel. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and share our channel with your friends. See you in the next production. Goodbye for now.